Welcome Leos. I'm back y'all with another video. So let's get into November. I know it's been a little while y'all. Um, definitely apologize about that. But I have been extremely busy with the website guys. If you haven't checked out the website, the website is www.empressempireoils.com. All right, check out um, our items that we have over there as well, guys. I just relocated, so I'm still trying to get into the swing of things. I'm trying to get everything done with the with the website and moving, and still trying to find time to come back here full time and do these readers for you guys. So just give me a little bit of time to get back in the swing, and I'm gonna be back, back, fully back. All right, so let's get into November for the Leo. Okay. Leo, give me a message for the Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, south node, Jupiter. Wherever you got Leo placement, okay, you can utilize this video. All right, so let's talk Leos. Let's see what messages we have for my Leos. What's going on with the Leos for the month of November? Thank you, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. Me a message for the Leo. All right, so woo, all right, so we got justice and hierophant that jumped out here. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we got the two of wands and the eight of cups. Is somebody planning on leaving a marriage here? All right, we got the two of wands and the eight of cups. So is somebody planning on leaving? It looks like someone is legally binded. To something could be definitely a marriage here okay so those came out together we're gonna keep them together all right there's that two of wands again all right and that eight of cups for sure for sure all right see somebody's playing going back and forth okay Six of Cups and a Knight of Wands. You've possibly been trying to hold on to this person with this Four of Pentacles here. But this person is, seems like they're a little wild. Okay, and I'm getting someone planning the exit. And it looks like to walk away from a marriage. That's what it's looking like. All right, so we got the Knight of Cups. The Hermit. The Ten of Wands. Yeah, you're burdened by this situation. You feel overwhelmed. Now, we got the strength card, which is you guys' energy, and the five of wands. All right. Three of cups. Okay. I'm getting a third-party energy. Five of cups. The fool and the outcome is the page of cups. Okay. Let's get into it. It looks like there's some drama going on here. Let's get into it. Now, what I'm seeing is there. Uh, the challenge is an offer with that knight of cups. Okay. But I am seeing, like, someone trying to find a way to leave or planning on leaving. You guys could be exiting a marriage or you're, someone that you're dealing with could be married. And they're planning to exit. Now, we got the hermit here. You could be dealing with the Virgo. Tell me why the hermit is here. We got the king of swords. Yep. All right. So there looks like some type of, yeah, see, somebody's marriage has crumbled. Somebody's relationship, long-term relationship, something has crumbled. We got the tower. The tower has hit this situation. Okay. Somebody's relationship, marriage, whatever it is, is definitely in danger. Okay. Um... Yep, see, we got the Wheel of Fortune here. See, somebody, there is like the tables have turned on somebody, somebody's wife here. We got the Empress and the Four of Wands. I'm picking up that that's a wife energy. Somebody's making some progress, okay? Somebody's making some progress. Could be a Capricorn. We got the Devil here. Definitely Earth Energy, Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, the Ten of Swords. So something has definitely, something financially possibly has come to an end. Somebody, um, somebody's uh, being a sole provider has come to the end. Something in that nature, okay? Somebody wants to start over. 
I see that as well, too, with the Ace of Wands and the Six of Swords. Somebody wants a new beginning. Could be a King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Two of Cups. This connection could be very much so like business oriented, like it's an arrangement of some sort. Um, could be a business arrangement, um, something to that nature. I see talks about money. All right, so this, I'm getting right off the bat that this is a very complicated, sticky situation. All right, so why is the King of Swords here? You're look. you're trying to find out the truth. Why is the King of Swords here? You're trying to find out some type of truth. And you're extremely overwhelmed by this situation. Tell me more about the King of Swords. The devil. Some of y'all are dealing with a Capricorn. The situation is so damn messy and toxic. You're trying to find out the truth about this person. Yeah, see, somebody was supposed to be telling the, telling everybody the truth. I'm getting like, this is out in the open because we got the six of wands. This is making me feel like everybody know the truth, okay? Queen of Swords. That this person cut either has to cut off some options or you find out that this person has options. I see somebody working on a connection. Eight of Pentacles and the Lovers could be a Gemini. You have a hope for the situation. So this could be you wanting to work on the situation. Um, but you know that you have to be patient. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. Someone here could definitely be married. This person is telling you that, you know, you got to be patient. Wait this out. But you're keeping your guard up. Ooh, yeah. I can't tell y'all what to do, but I'm going to tell you right now, this situation, I done seen this too many times. Why is the Knight of Cups here? The Knight of Cups is the challenge, okay? So, there's an offer that is, the, that's the challenge, like getting an offer. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Temperance. Could be dealing with Sagittarius. Why is the temperance here? Six of Swords. Somebody's saying that they'll that they've moved on, or somebody's saying that they're they'll be back. Um somebody is looking at something as the best choice. Like somebody's looking at looking at the Somebody's looking at this whole thing. This could be you looking at the whole situation and just trying to balance it out. Like, what would be my best choice? Should I deal with this situation? Okay, because it looks like you may have already got knee deep in the situation. Okay, because I see the lover's card here. There's love here. There's this three of swords, the three of wands. Like, there is third party energy here. Okay, I feel like... This is something that you want. But this person is very much so in and out, off and on. Like, you know, you're not sure if this person, like, is going to go back to the situation that they were in. Okay? You could be looking at this person. People could be judging you with a judgment card here. And you may feel like this person is moving too slow. Like, the process of this person walking away or making a choice is just, like, taking them too long. Okay? I do see somebody wants to be first place. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Page of Wands. Lots of communication. Okay, tell me more. Let's start. This situation is weighing you down. I ain't even gonna lie. But you still got hope. You still hanging in there. You still hanging in there. But this is what I, this is what could possibly is getting ready to happen or has already happened. We got the two of cups and the ten of swords. Somebody, somebody's connection or relationship is going to end. Okay. I feel like you want to know more of, you want to know the truth. Okay. You feel like. 
you want the truth to be told. We got the Queen of Wands, which is your energy. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But you want the truth to be told. You feel like you should be put first. Like you should be put as a main priority. You feel left out sometimes dealing with this situation because you feel like this person is dragging their feet. Like the situation is just like slow pace. Okay. You want more. You want to see things move a lot quicker than it is moving. And I see you, like I said, I feel like you, you're you overwhelmed by the situation. Um, but you hanging in there. Tell me about the strength card here. Queen of Swords. Ooh. You have gotten to the point where you are not playing games. Now, this could be a king with, you could be dealing with the king of pentacles. This person could be very business oriented, very, very much so like about their business, about their money, about their coin. Okay. This person could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. I feel like this person is sneaky. Okay. So this person has made you queen of swords. Like this person has made you turn you into a no nonsense type of energy. Like it's like, it's getting to the point where this is weighing so heavy on you. It's not like easy as it was in the beginning. Like in the beginning, it probably was fun and all of that. But some type of truth, it got to the point where, where you're feeling like you got to investigate. You got to see what this person doing. You can't trust this person. Because why would you trust the person that's being sneaky and you're the person that they're sneaking with? Let's just keep it a bug. Okay. It looks like there's a there's a coil quarrel or sometimes some type of competition coming up with this five of wands. That's just really, really like argumentative energy. That's um competition, a battle. Tell me about this five of wands. Queen of Wands. This is you guys' energy. Okay, now here's that tower. And see, like I said, the Ten of Swords. Out of the blue, there is some type of betrayal or some type of ending, okay? There's a disagreement, an argument, a tower moment, and an ending, okay? And the Ten of Swords is a, a, a ending ending, okay? And I feel like you've been holding on to this situation because you, you may want this person to open up um, and communicate with you. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands and this Five of Wands. Maybe you feel like you're in a position where you're competing with other people for a title or uh, to say that you won. Like, it's just at this point, in things I feel like things may have already just gotten too out of hand. Okay, why is the Queen of Wands here? The Emperor. Yep. There's an argument and disagreement over a male. This male could be an Aries, okay? Like I said, it is for the Two of Cups energy. And like I said, this tower, there is some type of truth that is getting ready to come out, okay? There's some type of truth that's getting ready to come out, Ace of Swords, and it can leave you feeling disappointed, okay? I feel like you, you was just trying something new. It was something different. But like I said, this this situation is stressful, okay? And it brought a lot of unnecessary attention to you, okay? I feel like you're going to feel like, you know, this, it just wasn't the right choice, okay? Now, the emperor is here and the five of wands and the queen of wands. I do see this could be like a baby father or someone getting into it with someone like older, but I am getting in like an argument or disagreement in regards to a man. Like this man could be somebody that's like big, you know, like people talk about this person. This person may be in the limelight. This person may get a lot of attention because the emperor is like a big deal. Okay. So there's a, you know, I'm getting like a competition. I'm getting this competition here. Now we got the three of cups. Three of cups is your energy. 
And I feel like because the Hierophant and the Justice card is here with the Three of Cups, I feel like that's, you know, talking about being a third party to a situation. Seven of Wands. Yep. A bunch of people could be telling you to leave this situation. Eight of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Because they're judging it. They're judging it. They feel like it's going to fail. They feel like the truth is going to be revealed. You're going to see some type of truth about this relationship. And this is going to be the end result. Look at this. The Ten of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Ten of Swords. Like that's betrayal at its finest. Like there's just a sense of this person is going to betray you. Okay. Intuitively, I feel like you know that. You know that. But you're just holding on to it. Maybe you're holding on to it for the security. Okay? And we got a queen of cups. There's love here. You really care about this person. You really love this person. But I feel like this, this situation is messy. Now, this person is going to be over here crying over spilled milk and having some type of regrets. They are already feeling guilty. This person over here's energy is the five of cups. They are already feeling guilty about something. They already feel like, you know, regretful. Why is the Father Cups here? Three of Swords. I'm telling you, they already regretting it. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. This person is here for the benefit, okay? Page of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. This person is here to ask. This person could look at you as a very abundant person, but this Queen of Pentacles and this Ten of Pentacles and this Page of Pentacles and this person is doing this for attention. Look at this. King of Wands and a Six of Wands. This person is, is egotistical as hell. This person could be very good looking. They get a lot of attention and they're doing this for attention. Okay. This person is juggling two lives, Two of Pentacles and a Four of Wands. They already got something and they juggling something else. They're having their cake and eat it too. This person is an asshole. <laughs> you're dealing with an egotistical asshole is what you're dealing with. This person over here enjoying it, having their cake, their cake and eat it too. And if you are uh, benefiting this person financially, like you're helping this person financially, they definitely eat it, having their cake and eat it too off of your tab. Now we got the fool here in your hopes and fears. The tower. That's what I say. It's a lot of red flags in this reading and i feel like these are red flags i feel like you already know these red flags you fear things falling apart you fear this falling apart now the outcome is the page of cups two of cups some of y'all gonna stay now we got the page of cups and the two of cups some of y'all are going to stay in this connection. We got the moon here and the two of wands. Maybe you're just going to decide to keep your relationship. Just keep your plans and stuff private. But um, some of y'all are feeling like none of this is worth giving my man away or like... Mm -mm. I'm not even feeling this read. I don't even want to push this read out. I'm not feeling it because it's just like, it's giving me desperate vibes. I'm just going to be honest because um, this a no. This a no. Tell me more about the two of cups. I don't want none of anybody who's following my page, following me and thinking that this type of energy is cool. Because for one, if they'll do it to somebody else and they come to you and you're open to it, they'll do it to you too. And you have to look at what you deserve. Like, do you deserve? If you being good to this person and this person is treating you like crap, it's time to it's time to L I G. Let it go. Tell me more about the two of cups here. This person seems like an asshole to me. Yep, eight of swords. And then we got the lovers. All right, so the decision has already been made. Judgment and the lovers. So the decision has already been made. So a lot of y'all just going to stick around. Feel like you should wait. Like feeling like you should wait. 
you still gonna be holding on to this person trying to work it out but there is some secrets here the moon and the ace of swords you're gonna find out that this person is a liar a cheater a sneak but i feel like you knew that you know that already and you also know that this person is either married or living with someone or has something else going on okay but they doing their thing they got options some of y'all are just like okay i'm gonna just deal with this we just having fun okay but trust me I don't see this. I don't see this ending well. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords. The Queen of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. And also the Knight of Pentacles. So... Some of y'all are feeling like this person asked for asked you for this for this connection. They came to you, um, and they think that they could just go off and possibly give a, another offer somewhere else. This is something that I feel like some of y'all. <laughs> it's like I want y'all to think about this. I really want y'all to think about this. Of course, I'm not here to make no decisions for y'all, but the ones that are in this situation, because this isn't going to resonate with everyone. But this, I don't like this either. Because I know my Leos is better than that, more powerful than that. Um, and I just, uh-uh, I don't like it. And <laughs> some of y'all are definitely dealing with somebody who got some money. Like, some of y'all are like sticking around in this situation because the person has money or has been, or, you know, is just, uh, has a reputation or a name for themselves. Um, this is a lot, okay? All right, so y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. All right, if you're interested in booking a personal read, be sure to check the description box, okay? It's my email address for you guys to get in contact with me. If you're a newbie and this will be your first time um, getting a reading from me, I am offering discounted rates, all right? So um, check the description box below. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. And I will chat with y'all later. Ciao for now.